The last time you were here, we had all the actual frame up and we were looking to put in all the insulation. And really, I can tell you about what's happened since then. All the insulation has gone in, the additional insulation, which you saw in a great big pile, which is the extra 30 mil on top of the 90 mil that was already factory fitted when it came. On top of that, we've had a wonderful dry lining process of putting all the lining on, which is plasterboard, taped, filled and sanded down to give a really perfect finish. I had never imagined how, how perfect it could be actually um, until he did the job and you can see for yourself a really lovely finish. You remember us talking about all that beading that was going on, 1,200 pieces to be exact. And now Reed is putting it all in. And uh, I'm sure it's almost as painful for him as it was for us. But um, he and Tony, his workmate, are doing a fantastic job. And they're looking great. And we're trying to paint quickly behind them to keep up with a, a good finish, aren't we? Yep. Right, so over the next three weeks, which are hopefully the final three weeks, we will have the last of the second fix plumbing, which are putting in all our eco radiators, and the commissioning of our eco scent hot water system, which will mean we have hot water and plumbed in bath and shower. The final power coming in from the electricity, because that all has to go now to a large fuse box and actually be powered up and made live and the scaffolding will come down, the French doors will be put on, and the glaziers will come back to finally do the final panelling in the French windows when they're in situ, and we'll be locked up tight then. And pretty much, if all goes to plan within the next three weeks, all trades will be off site, and it will be left to Barry and I to finish decorating it and um, doing all the furnishings.